Every year, more and more people suffer from cancer. In 2000, there were 10 million newly diagnosed cancer patients in the world. 20 years later, in 2020, this number increased to 19 million. After 20 more years from now, the number is expected to increase to 30 million. As more and more people are getting cancer, it's easy to think that cancer is a recent phenomenon. But is that really true? These are our ancient relatives who lived 2 million years ago, a fossilized spine of Australopithecus sediba found in Malapa Cave, South Africa. Researchers found traces of cancer in this fossil. Long before modern society, our ancestors already suffered from cancer. Even in 70 million year old dinosaur fossils and 240 million year old turtle fossils, we find traces of cancer. Cancer has been around for millions of years across many different species. So what is cancer and why does it happen? Once you get cancer, that's all, brother. You're through. We can look for the future treatment of cancer, and on their findings will depend hundreds of thousands of lives. 3.8 billion years ago, among the many chemicals in the primordial sea, there was one lucky chemical. This chemical happened to develop all the functions required for independent life. It had a boundary between in and out, maintaining its form, and could divide itself to reproduce. The last universal common ancestor, or LUCA. LUCA was a cell in itself, a single life form. It split from one to two, then two to four, replicating itself explosively. All life on Earth today, including ourselves, is a result of a long process of cell divisions that started with LUCA. About 2.1 billion years ago, some of those cells grouped together. Many cells combined made them a harder prey and a more effective predator. This made them more survivable, leading to more offspring. It was a very effective strategy. What was once a loose collection of cells developed into a system, almost like a society. Cells found their place in the body, specializing into nerves, muscles, blood, and so on. This society of cells is called a multicellular organism. But as always, you win some and you lose some. Every society requires its members to follow some rules to maintain the stability of the whole system. In the cellular society, this rule is no uncontrolled replication. If cells just reproduced all the time, like when they were single cell, it would endanger the balance of the whole body. Now, cell reproduction is only allowed in special cases like healing injuries or a child growing up. But not every cell sticks to this rule. Some cells cause problems in the cellular society by deciding to reproduce however they like. These are what we call cancer. For the other cells, cancer is the worst neighbor. Cancer cells quickly proliferate and form a group, invading and destroying the space for other cells. They can even form new blood vessels, stealing oxygen and nutrients that are bound for other cells. So whenever cancer forms, the surrounding tissue is devastated. And there is a bigger problem. A cancer cell can break off from where it is and roam around the body through the blood vessels. Once it settles down, it starts forming new groups. This is called metastasis, and it is one of the biggest reasons that cancer is such a deadly illness. Once cancer metastasizes, even if a surgery removes the tumor, there is still a high chance that cancer remains somewhere else. Then it becomes nearly impossible to treat cancer. For a very long time, cancer has been a nightmare for multicellular organisms. Once you get it, there was no fighting it. Humanity was the first multicellular organism to recognize cancer as a problem and started to search for solutions. Some thought that cancer was a curse from the gods and that it could be cured by offering sacrifices to them. Others thought the human body is composed of four fluids or humors, blood, phlegm, yellow bile, and black bile. Cancer was thought to be caused by too much black bile. This was called humor theory for more than a thousand years, in Europe and the Middle East, the humor theory was the foundation of medical knowledge, but it was eventually found to be false. Black bile, the alleged cause of cancer, was never exactly proven to exist. Even later, many similar blunders followed. Some argued that the lymph fluid pooling and fouling causes cancer. Others said that cigarette smoke, now known to be a carcinogen, causes cancer. Even if they directly observed patients, the tools for observation were not precise, so cancer continued to remain elusive. The situation only changed mid-19th century with the invention of the microscope. 
By directly observing cancer through a microscope, we learned that all of our previous ideas about cancer had been wrong. Turns out, cancer is just some cells, cells with problems. Despite millennia of struggle against cancer, humanity started figuring it out only a century ago. Funds poured into cancer research, and many scientists jumped into the search for a cure. Some say that it won't be long before we defeat cancer, but things haven't been going all that easy. Cancer never quits. Cancer doesn't sleep. Cancer never says, well, I, 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 I can do damage tomorrow. Why is it so difficult? But you know, we can end cancer as we know it. 